Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about new features of Agile HR Analytics version 4.5. But first, let me give you a short introduction about Agile HR Analytics. Agile HR Analytics is a pre-built dashboard with over 40 different reports, which covers 10 high impact people analytics areas. You can check the recruitment process, new hires in your organization, diversity and inclusion, termination analysis, performance, leave analysis, and many other things in one dashboard. You can combine workforce data and business data all together in one place and empower your HR dashboard using AI. You can bring in data from different sources like SAP SuccessFactor, Workday, Oracle HCM, or any other HCM platform that you are using. You can even combine your HR data with flat files or even online surveys. And finally, you can customize Agile HR analytics based on your color palette and branding. Okay, now let's talk about new features of Agile HR Analytics version 4.5. In this release, we added five new reports to this dashboard. The first one is top 10 questions. Let's take a look. In this report, you can find answers to top 10 most important questions in your data. If you're interested in uh, checking the uh, hiring process, you can easily find a time to hire trend here and you can check it over the past 12 months. If you are interested in um, employee salaries, you can check it here. And if you are interested to see the more details on this topic, you can easily click on this button here, more details, which will bring you to the salary analysis report where you can check more details. Okay, let's get back to the first page. The next report that we added to this release is new status by gender. And another one is new status by job level. Let's take a look at these two reports. New status by gender helps you to check the trend for hires and terminations separately for females and males. And also you can check the distribution by business unit and age banding for these two genders. The next report is new status by job level, where you can find um, new status in the operational, mid-level, and high-level organization levels. At the first section, you can check the trend, you can see the distribution by age banding and gender, and by business unit and location just for operational hires. And in the second section, you can check the same information for mid-level. And at the right-hand side, you can check these information for high-level new starters. The fourth report that we added to this version is headcount. In this report, you can check the trend for headcount. You can check the month-over-month -month percentage change. For example, here, 1.2% for October 2023 shows that from September to October, the number of headcount increased by 1.2%. You can check the distribution by age range, uh, gender, tenure banding, and other factors here. And you also have the option to switch between checking the percentage of total and numbers. So if you click on this button here, it will show you the numbers. And if you're interested in checking the percentage of total, for example, for Thailand or Australia, you can easily switch to percentage and it shows you that 20 per, 26 percentage of your headcount belongs to Australia and 29 percent in Thailand. And the last but not least is data validation. So let's check this out. Here in this report, you can at the, at the first row, you can check the um, date columns. We have as of date, hire date, termination date, and date of birth for the employee table. So you can easily check top five and bottom five values for each column. You can see the number of blanks. You can see um, if you have any error here. Besides that, you can check the unique values for your categorical fields like business unit, country, education degree, and so on and so forth. And at the third row, you have the option to check the base salary, cost center, 
termination category and so on and so forth. So these were the features that we added to Agile HR Analytics new version 4.5. Hope you enjoy it.